Yes. What's that on your forehead? Oh, what's on what forehead? It looks like a lipstick mark. That's not from another god, is it, darling? No. Because if it is, oh well, god, you die here. I got it. What's up, guys? Um, last time we tried going on a date, it didn't really go all that well. Um, apparently me and Cthulhu had different ideas of what a relationship should be. So, um, today we're gonna try a second date with somebody else. Hopefully it works. So let's get into this. Chapter two. Aren't kings king guys? Approaches. I hope not. Huh? What? Where? Huh? Did I zone out? I was... What was I doing? Damn. I'm having a one hell of a brain fart. I can't remember for the life of me what I'm supposed to be doing. Everything else is so hazy. Why is it so bright out? Was I going to work? I am standing outside after all. Yeah, that's gotta be it. The sun is setting, so it's probably around 7 p.m., which means I'm gonna be crazy late. Six hours early for my shift, huh? Those sound like the church noontime bells. It's high noon? No way. They must be doing some special event service or something. I can clearly see that the golden hour is right before sunset. Yeah, the sun is going down. Hey man, sorry to bother you. You wouldn't happen to have the time on you, would you? Maybe? Are you covered in blood? Hello? Hey, um, hey? Is this guy ignoring me? A book. What? Lynette. But I died. The world ended. The shock freezes, freezes me in place. And because I was so distracted, I didn't even notice the... <laughs> I ducked inside my room, slamming the door in the suspicious man's face. Fumbling with the lock in panic, I managed to turn the deadbolt. I take a few f f fearful steps back into my room, clutching the book to my beating chest. I died. I definitely died when I performed the final ritual. So why am I still here? Where is here? The poster changed to something else. Oh god, there's something- oh god. Lynetta? Lynetta? If Lynetta was here, she could explain this. Maybe there's something in this book that can save me. I need to hurry. Come on, come on, Lynetta, where are you? Lynetta, who? Who is this Lynetta you're trying to call? Um, it's that girl again. Uh, hello, mailman. I mean, um, Misty. Uh, what are you doing in my room? I just so happened to overhear you saying, Lynetta, where are you? You sounded like you were in trouble, so I let myself in. I locked the deadbolt. Your window is open. Probably should have locked that too. Uh, no it's not, and either way, I'm on the top floor, so how did you... Lynetta sounds like a girl's name, right? This Lynetta is obviously the girl you stood me up for, isn't she? No. I can explain all this stuff. Let me guess. Accursed devices used to channel eldritch magics and do the bidding of outer gods. Actually, that's pretty much right on. Did you randomly guess that? No, I've just been playing coy. I know exactly what you've been doing. How? You know what this is, don't you? Is that another Necronomicon? Wait a minute, the sky? That suspicious man outside? They all match Missy's book. She's making all this happen. Oh god, when I expected her to do something crazy, I thought she was just gonna show up with a hatchet. <laughs> Apparently her finding another book and starting to summon some other godly being is... 
not as predictable as her just showing up with a hatchet to kill me. This guy's got his stuff down. Misty, look, I'm sorry. I just got wrapped up in something. Please don't. Sorry? You're sorry? Why are you acting so afraid of me? Oh, uh, because I kind of know what that book can do. Not, not that exact book, but what those types of books can do. <laughs> Could it be that you know what this book is capable yes, of? Yes, exactly that. Misty, look, I'll do whatever you want. Anything? Yeah, anything. I can be rather... Demanding. That doesn't sound good. Name your price. So bold. In that case, I have three commands. Okay. Number one, you'll address me as Your Highness from now on. So when I come home, it's Welcome home, Your Highness. Okay. As you wish, Your Highness. What else? Number two. You'll quit your job so you can spend every waking moment catering to me, your one and only. Does that mean you're going to pay the bills? I could probably do that. Did your eye patch move? I'm not sure. And number three, you'll obey every order and whim I have, absolutely, without question. Uh, sure, why not? Do you agree to my terms? Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely what? Absolutely, your highness. Oh my god. <laughs> I suppose if you will do whatever I ask, then there's no need to use any of these dreadful spells on you. That's good. As a matter of fact, I believe you can help me with them. Here. So I'm going to help you summon something. Okay. I've liked you for a long time, and you're a capable bookkeeper. Handsome to boot. There's no reason we can't simply work together. What are we working together to do? After all, a relationship based on threats of violence and fear is no good, right? Yeah, that does make sense. All right, your highness, I'm ready to enter my lifetime of servitude to you I just have one small request first. Being? Could you tell me what this is? Huh? Your Worcestershire sauce? What about it? So you're an Eldritch God disguised as a human. What? How did you figure that out so suddenly? It's obvious no human being can pronounce Worcestershire. Worcestershire, where, where? Worcestershire, of course not. It's an eldritch alone word. Why else oh, is it, it spelled like that? Is it now? <sighs> I was careless. After all this time, I wasted trying to seduce you in this slovenly form. So she's also an eldritch god. Interesting. Yeah, you should have tried using your eldritch form instead. I would have fallen in love immediately. What? Yeah, that's what I'm asking. You think cosmic entities are attractive? As a human? Yeah, sure, why not? 3D women are fine, but fourth dimensional girls with non... It's whatever that big word is. Geometry are smoking. They've got curves I can literally get lost in. Like those thighs. <laughs> if I had known that you're attracted to my cosmic godhood, I would have just led with that. Oh, would you now? Hmm. Allow me to properly introduce myself. I am Esther, king in yellow, heiress to Carcosa. Charmed, I'm sure. Aren't kings guys? Is this a trap? Is this a trap? I think this might be a trap. I'm not sure if I'd like this. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. I'm already involved with another god. I'm following Lynetta. I know, so loyal, so faithful and devoted. That's why I want you to be my follower instead. Okay, that makes sense. In exchange for serving me, I shall grant you anything you desire. Wealth, power, whatever that rotten witch Lynetta offered you, I can double it. So I can get two smooches. 
Do you have more thighs? And I shall... What, what, what? Um, yeah, she promised me a smooch. You handed over your reality to her? For a singular smooch? Are you mad? Maybe just a little? I never said I was a smart person. You, 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 uh, yeah, yeah. I, I su suppose if that's all you're selling the world for, then a smooch can be uh, arranged. Oh, nice. No way, you promised to double it. That's two smooches. No, and more thighs. Two of them on the lips. Yes. I just... Usually my followers ask for inordinate wealth, unquestionable fame and influence, or some lavish indulgence. Nah. Nobody's ever dared to ask to kiss me before, so... So has anyone ever asked you to crush their head between your thighs? You really want to smooch me? I'll take that as a no. Okay. Well, <clears throat> your terms are amenable. Suffice it to say, I'll expect you to perform your scenes flawlessly in exchange. Yeah, sure, no problem. I'm, pro I'm, pro blah, 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 blah. I'm pretty sure I can do that. The prompt book I gave you contains the script for The King in Yellow. Okay. Yeah, this thing? This thing is just a playbook? Where are all the power-invoking rituals? Rituals? Is this some sort of peasant joke that I'm too rich to understand? Possibly. No, we aren't barbaric swamp folk casting hocus pocus in a cave. We have a little class. To invoke my power, my play must be performed perfectly. So we're gonna go play football? Or the other football? I don't, okay, whatever. Your performance will receive a scathing review in the Carcosan Times publication. And you'll also be killed. Yeah, I already died once. Break a leg, dearest. Okay, yeah, no problem. So, what do we got around the room now? Oh, she's hanging out about the window. She has tentacles for legs. So she does have more thighs. For... Crushing heads. Right? I think I might be down for this. Oh, wow. Oh, this is... Oh, this is such an art fancy book. Setting exterior in view of city. Okay. Host. Click and drag the first word of the first line slowly. Okay. <laughs> This is still not in English. Dearest, greeting stranger, fortunate fella. Tis a party for which I below. I invite the king in yellow, so come all ye in... Oh, okay, so I'm reading that. Wear thy mask upon you to my mystique until he may come to lost you. Okay, so we're reading that. Oh my God. Shadows lengthen, dim streets darken. To the curfew thou must hearken. Why so loudly does thou bark in the dim city of Yatil? So this is like a play, not like a football game, or the other type of football game. Only much attention, quite unwholesome, you'll instill from the souls of poor Yatil. Why attract so much ill will? I don't know. Kai. Okay, that is just what I must seek. See hidden somewhere, Mongia, whatever, the meekly. Tis one invitee I seek, he shall all my mistakes undo. Tis the king in yellow who great wealth I shall accure. When his shadow passes through, wealth will come to I and you. Your plans shall surely languish, and this whole town will know anguish for the king as whom they say, which shall this city indeed smite. If he comes, you tell him you and I will know his might. I'll be lost within a night. What reward is worth that price? Is this actually a spell or is this a play? 
Huh. Wearing this expensive clothing, pardon from my family's loathing, lasting till I'm decomposing all my friends whom strive I've caused. Yes, preparing for this night, their forgiveness is the cause. They shall all be proud because I had brought the king to us. Is that a good thing? I don't know if that's a good thing. Can I go back inside? Please? There's people staring at me. Oh, oh my god. Simply splendid. Yes, that's good, I think. Why, thank you. That was actually pretty fun. I haven't gotten to flex my acting chops since high school. You're no stranger to the stage, I can tell. I mean, I used to be a stage hand. A virtuoso of the bard, are we? If you've performed Shakespeare, then you must be an actor of sufficient ability to survive my play. No, I just set up, like, speakers and lightings, hung the backdrops, set up props, that kind of stuff. Tell me, what role were you? The leading man, I presume. No, I just set things up. I... wasn't aware that was a role. Not really, it's more of a job. Oh, you are good. I'm so confused. Hey, what's happening to you? Don't fret, dearest. Something is simply passing between my planet's light and your bedroom. A cloud, perhaps. Yeah, so you're like on Wi-Fi. You know the proverb, wherever the golden light of Carcosa shines, the shadow of the unspeakable one is cast? It's a literal rule. Oh, so there's another, like, bad version of you. I don't know why you just, like, started talking and then stopped talking, but okay. In other words, I can't reach you at night when you're not standing in natural light, or if anything obstructs your view of Carcosa. Oh, that's why you couldn't hang out after dark. Oh. So she was able to get into my room because the sunlight was coming through because I had the curtains open. That makes sense. Aw, I was quite enjoying my time with you. I wanted to stay a little longer. Oh yeah, no problem. You can just come back whenever the sun yes. shines again. Parting is such sweet sorrow. It may be some time until your sky clears. Until then, I bid you adieu. Yeah, no problem. I will miss you in all those thighs. Oh, she gave me a kiss on the head. That's nice. That doesn't count as one of the smooches. Can I go back inside now? Well, looks like I have one hell of a choice to make. Lynetta hasn't been summoned yet, and Ister is stuck outside for the moment. So I have a moment to collect my thoughts. Between Lynetta and Esther, who do I want to smooch? Or maybe more accurately, who am I more afraid of? I have the option to try dating both of them or one of them. But my character does want me to resummon Lynetta so I can talk to her. Okay, I think I remember how to do this. So we need to turn on the red lights. We need to close the curtains. We need probably to remove that. And we'll leave that up. Then we need to turn off all of the lights. Darling, it's you! So she remembers me summoning her. Hey, Lynetta. I so miss those thighs. I'm really glad you're here, but can you tell me what happened to me? To that world we dated in? That reality fell to me. Nothing there exists anymore. Like a dream that ends. Okay, so this is a different reality. Then why am I still here? Why did I survive when the rest of that reality didn't? Oh, darling, don't make me say it. It's embarrassing. What's embarrassing? You're still here because I'm... I'm still dreaming about you. Okay. Everything in existence is being dreamed about by at least one Eldritch God. So as long as you're on my mind, you'll exist somewhere. Interesting. Esther. Darling, I thought I 
told you not to mention other women while we're together. It was Especially just a question. Not my sister. I, um, wait, what? Oh, she's your sister. Ugh, I can't stand that prissy little boyfriend stealing. That explains a lot. Don't uh, have a great relationship with her. Absolutely not. We've been fighting over planets and followers for eons. It wouldn't be a stretch to call us nemeses. Thanksgiving dinner must be awkward, right? Darling? Yes? What's that on your forehead? Oh, what's on what forehead? It looks like a lipstick mark. That's not from another god, is it, darling? No. Because if it is... Oh, well, God. You die here. I got it. Oh, she kissed me on the forehead before she left. It's, it's um. What? Um. Say something. It's a uh, ritual paint. Ritual paint? Yes. I was trying something new. Um, yeah. Oh, really? Yep. Which ritual? Uh, like I said, I was just trying something new. It's a secret. I'm going to pretend that this lipstick mark came from a human girlfriend. So that I can spare you. That sounds good. But from now on, if you contact another god, I swear I'll stop being so sweet. Okay? Yeah, got it. Okay, so now Lynette is here. I can't open the window while she's here. Otherwise, we'll have issues. So, I think I need to cast a couple of her spells. So let's get Eldridge Mouth. I think. So we can... Um... Actually speak the Eldridge language. Okay, that changed a little bit. Ah, it's such a nice day outside. It's a little dry for my liking, but we could totally have a date date. Well, can we? Why don't you open your window? Let a little light in here? Eh, how about we don't do that? That might be bad. No, wait. But what? What is it? Uh, are you sure you want to do that? What do you mean? I mean, uh, don't you want to shower first before you go out like last time? Huh? Why would you suggest that? Uh, um, oh, I don't no. know. Don't tell me. Do I still smell like the ocean? No. Just a tad salty. Heavens below! I'm so sorry, darling. I'll be right back. Yeah, just remember I'm in the bathroom, too. No peeking, but I love you! Am I allowed to peek? That was a close one. If she opened that window, Estridge would have come. Oh, that makes sense. Oh, oh there well. she is. I'm impressed. You'd be presentable before my royal court in that. Oh, would I? That's good to know. It's a pretty snug fit. The mask almost feels alive. Like it's molding to fit my face perfectly. That's kind of weird. Quite the opposite, dearest. Your face is molding to fit the mask. Oh, that's great. I feel... Uh, that doesn't sound good. <laughs> I may have failed to mention that we reenact the play with deadly accuracy. Okay. From this point on in the play, your character never removes his mask. So neither shall you. Yay. That's, that's this great. This surely shouldn't be a problem for someone who is planning to be my eternal servant. Correct? Yeah, totally. The mask and your face have become one. Your every pore is now gilt and gold. Yay. Damn the night and Meru scornful. Wicked morning, unrenownful. Why tonight must I be mournful? For ambition unfulfilled. After all my preparations, all the daylights I have killed. Why is it us only still? Oh, we wire my wishes unfulfilled. Permitted this result truly befitted to a hunger such as thine. 
Okay. Though your greed is grave and tomb and crypt in which you die, it's within your grease you fry. Dearest host, the end is nigh. That's not good. Wretched guest, you've come to mark me for bamboozement thus. Once bust hawking and so in the town you stalked me to watch my schemes fall apart. Strip thy mask, apologize, then hastily despart. Leave thy, or is that thee? Leave thee, just my broken heart. Leave not else in whole or part. I wear no mask, no witness, for it was thee who hast permit this golden guest to own the dimness of the city of Yatil. Go, for I'm the king in yellow whose long shadow is on Yatil, and whose shadow you're in still. Darkest death is now Yatil. Uh, did I just get stabbed? I think I just got stabbed by a spear. King fatally injures the host. She did. She stabbed me. Irk, draw that blade from my contusion. My life reaches its conclusion. Cruelty. Matched by your delusions that you truly are the king. Yes, you would have granted all my wishes, not forsaken me. If indeed you were the king, why would you have murdered me? But I've granted all your wishes, I'm afraid. I disagree. All alone you are with all of your remaining family. I didn't get a smooch. Turns to darkness, you have claim to all you see, and you'll wear that mask and robe for the rest of all your life indeed. And the strong will fall to illness, haunt your tail with like stillness, and none left alive to witness my ascension to your tail. Okay. And from the catacombs shall spill the cries of innocence laid still, he heard from lady and from smithy and from throne to peasant mill. Cries unprecedented in the history of Yatil. Wales unlike they'll ever be again in Dark Yatil. That your invitation's quill brought the king to Black Yatil. Smiles, dearest, smiles. Aren't you proud of yourself? I don't know what I did. Why would I be proud of myself? Did you use a stage knife? I'm really bleeding out here. To ensure you stay in character, call it method acting, if you will. That's not really how... Okay, whatever. Oh, with sweet sorrow, the curtain falls, and the show begins. What show? The stage is now set for you to inscribe the yellow sign. The thing that was on the front of the book? Do this. And I will bestow upon you the smooch I promised. Uh, two. And thighs that could crush my head. Even now, that's really all you can think about? Um, yes. Your world is about to be enslaved by a horror from beyond the stars. You're dying from a stab wound. And you're worried about smooches? And thighs. You are... An interesting human. It is a pity that you'll soon cast away your individuality for me. Um, yeah, it probably won't happen. Behold, okay, I drew the thingy. Sign. Become my slave, my eternal captive audience. Okay. I am entropy. Disorder. Where things are built tall, I appear to knock them down. Monuments, nations, relationships. Oh. I steal the hearts and minds of the rich or powerful to break them and litter my court with them like gold dust. That's why they're all bleeding, they all got stabbed in the chest. Oh my god, I just figured it out. Because and the breeze of chaos that knocks down any tower that challenges the grandness of my court. Your relationship with my sister was one of those things. Before, I only pursued you because you have a great deal of cloud amongst the night-going crowd and shrewd wealthy types. 
You would have been an incredibly powerful servant who would have been able to draw in countless wayward souls that meet my standards. At least, until that reality ended and you undid all of my hard work. Maybe, Ed. All of my followers that I had stolen from Lynetta. Gone in an instant. And I had no choice but to abandon that reality. There's nothing left to destroy if nothing exists, you see. Yeah, I get it. But in this reality, I've stolen away her most powerful asset. You. Just as I've stolen every member of my entourage. Why are they still here? Aren't they kind of third wheeling our moment here? Kick them out. Huh? Such a defiant tone. Why aren't you under the effects of the yellow sign? Uh, I have no clue. Were you... unaffected? Did... did the spell fail? Possibly. I don't feel any different. You're supposed to be obsessed with me! Oh, well that didn't really work, I guess. I already was since I first saw you. That's why your little spell didn't work. What? <laughs> you can try and resist it all you want, but one way or another... You're my eternal slave from now on. Okay. Are you proposing to me? I accept. No, dearest, I'm not talking about marriage. Oh, well, that's right. What I'm talking about is catering to my every whim, anticipating my every desire, and living solely to please me. Can you please a god? I don't know. Do I still get a smooch? Two smooches? And thighs? No, I'm talking about a where you do nothing but kiss the ground I walk on and revere me for all of time. But I was hoping to get thighs and smooches. A servitude unlike anything on earth, where you never so much as think of anyone else. Are we talking about marriage or what? I'm so confused. It means no freedom, forever. You are only permitted to do as I say. That kind of actually does sound like marriage. And it means preparing every single one of my meals for me, whenever I so wish. Okay. Your servitude. You'll never be free of me so long as you live. Okay. Until death do us part, even. Exactly. Yeah, that's marriage. I mean, hey, if that's what you want, and then I'm in. Let's get married. Dearest. <gasps> oh, well, there's the one kiss. Y you shouldn't. I, I, I stole you away. I ruined your relationship with Lynetta. Yeah, probably. Why are you being so persistent? You can't really want to marry me that badly. You never know. I'm so confused on what's going on. It's really hard to date godly beings, I think. You're just trying to act all smooth, so I give you your second smooch. That too. Uh, it, you can't be serious, right? About the smooch, the thighs, and the marriage, because I'm I don't know where this is going. Oh my god, they actually got married. I'm so confused now. Alright guys, well, we went through with Missy's ending. So we can either go back and be faithful still to Lynetta. Or we can try to date both of them. So maybe next time we'll come back and see uh, which one of those options is good or bad. Or gets me killed again. So if you like this video... Leave a like on it. And if you're not a subscriber and you like watching my stuff, uh, hit the subscribe button down below and uh, ring the bell icon so you don't uh, miss more thighs. I mean, videos. And uh, if there's any games you want to see me play, leave them down in the comments. I'll try to get to them when I have some free time. Bye! I love yous. I really want to see Lynetta's thighs again.